Hello, this is Mrs. Ross, and today we are going to be talking about test 9B reflections. Okay, I fully expect for you to write all of these out. Do not just write the answer. Um, I do have another page of, let's see, um, well, if it doesn't fit here, I'll show you where to put it. So let's go ahead and do number one. Um, and feel free to fast forward to the place where you need to be. This says, what is the probability of rolling a composite number with one roll of the dice? So what I always do is I write down what my options are. One roll of the dice could give me any one of these things. I'm looking for the probability of composite. Okay, and I'm gonna change colors here. So um, one is not composite, two is prime, three is prime, four is composite, five is prime, six is composite. So the probability of a composite is two out of six. Then I need to reduce it, and I get one over three. And you'll need to write all of this if you miss number one. All right, number two, let me scroll down here. Two is gonna take a little bit more space. So let's see. It's, we're finding the mean and the median of the scores. So I would do this on notebook paper and attach it to your test reflection form. Let me show you what that looks like. Okay, so this is cumulative test 9B reflections. Okay, and we're doing number two. Um, so the first thing we wanna find is the mean, which is the average. Most of you actually got this correct. The average is the sum over how many. When I count how many I have here, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, I have my how many is equal to 10. So the sum is going to be 90 plus 88 plus 88 plus 87, plus 84, plus 95, plus 90, plus 80, plus 98, plus 100. Okay, so that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. I'm going to go ahead and add that. So for my sum, I get 900. So if I'm going to do my average, that's the sum over how many, which gives me 90. And if you miss that part, you're going to need to write all of this either in the square or on a separate sheet of notebook paper. B was probably one of the most missed. So let's see, B, and I'm going to change colors just because I want to. Um, B says to find the median which is the middle. So I need to list them from the least, and you should write all of this down, to the greatest. All right, so let me go ahead and do that, and then we'll talk about how to find the middle. Um, so let's see, 84, I have an 80, so let me put 80, and I would normally cross these off as I go. 80, 84, 87, 88, 88, let's see if I missed anything. 80, 84, 87, 88, 88, uh, 90. Looks like there's two 90s. 90, 90, uh, 95, 98, and 100. Let me double check. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Okay, so this is in order. And when you have an even number, even number, so we have 10. You have to average the two middle numbers. And you should write literally all of this down. So if I start here and I go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, I circle that. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, I circle that. So I'm going to average. This is the weirdest pen. Okay, 88 plus 90 over 2, which gives me 89. 
I can't do that one anymore. Okay. Make sure you get all of that down. Make sure you write all of that down. Make sure you don't just write 89 down. So let's do number three. This was a, uh, several people missed this one as well. I'm going to go back to my reflections page. Okay, number three. It says evaluate A times B plus C. Evaluate means to plug in the numbers and work it out pretty much. So A is 0.2 times B, which is 1.5 plus 1. I'm going to do what's in parentheses first. So that equals 0.2 times 2.5. I'm going to go ahead and plug that into my calculator, 2.5 times 0.2, and I get 0 0.5. Got lots of different fun answers on this one. Please write all of that down if you got it wrong. Number four. Number four says, refer to the tally sheet, the first place candidate received how many more votes than the third place? What I'm going to do is I'm going to um, write how many votes people got and what place they were in. So let's see, first place candidate should be Yolanda. She's in first, and she has 5, 10, 15, 22. Second place candidate is Khan. This looks almost exactly like the review. Um, 5, 10, 15, 18. Third place is Judy. Uh, which is 5, 10, 15, 16. And then fourth place is going to be Carlos with 5, 10, 14. Okay. Um, so let me change colors here. A, and you should write all of this down. A says the first plate candidate has how many more than the third place? So first is here. Third is here. So I'm going to do 22 minus 16 to find the difference. And I get six, which is your answer. And then B says, what fraction of the votes did Carlos receive? So that means I need Carlos over the total. So I know Carlos had 14. Let me make sure my total is the same as what's on the review. So that's gonna be 22 plus 18 plus 16 plus 14 is 70 still. So Carlos is 14 out of 70. I'm going to go ahead and divide by 7. And I get 2 over 10. I'm going to divide by 2. And I get 1 fifth. So that's number 4. If you can't fit it all on that... Um, in that spot, go ahead and do it on your separate sheet of paper. And we're going to do number five. I'm going to need a coordinate plane for that. Hold on. All right, number five says, find the area of the triangle whose vertices are these. So I know the area of a triangle is going to be equal to one half base times height or base times height over two, however you want to put it. I know that this is the area of a triangle. And this is on the wall on the poster. So let's go ahead and um, uh, plot these. So I have negative one, negative one. So I always do, you run before you jump. So my X goes negative one, and then negative one is down here. Negative one, three. So I have negative one, one, two, three. Had lots of different looking triangles than this. So we may need to go back and look at um, coordinates. And then, uh, five, negative one. So that's one, two, three, four, five, negative one. Okay, so this is what your triangle should have looked like. I saw some very interesting triangles walking around, y'all. Um, so, of course, mine doesn't look amazing, but the base is going to be one, two, three, four, five, six, the height is going to be 1, 2, 3, 4. So when I plug that in, I get 1 half times 6 times 4, which is 1 half times 24, which is 12. If you miss this one, I want you to do this on a coordinate plane. I want to see this triangle. I want to see your work. Okay, so this would be number 5. All right, number six says, diagram the statement that answer the questions that follow. 
Four-ninths of those who rode the giant gyro at the fair were euphoric or very happy. All the rest were vertiginous or they wanted to throw up. So what I'm going to do is the four-ninths tells me, I wonder if I can fit it all in this. I need nine squares. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and that would be nine. They should be the same size, but I can't draw. One, two, three, four. So those four ninths, four ninths were euphoric. I'm just going to write an E. That means that five ninths were vertiginous because five ninths plus four ninths gives us nine, all nine of the ninths. All right. So A says, what fraction of those who rode the ride were vertiginous? Well, that's right here. They were five ninths were vertiginous. And then B says, and I'm going to change colors here, um, what is the ratio of euphoric? So euphoric to vertiginous. So I'm going to take this number and this number. This would be for the euphoric. This would be for, for the vertiginous. And if you wrote anything like 4 to 5, 4 colon 5, um, I counted it right. You need to make sure that you write the appropriate one of these down if you only miss part of this answer. Okay, let's go ahead and go to seven. Lots of people missed part of that answer. Oh, where'd seven go? There we go. Let's pick a different color. Oh, I don't know. How about red? The perimeter of this rectangle is 60 centimeters. What is the length? Okay, had some people who did this and forgot to divide by two. That's always fun because I can see, I can almost see your brain working. So if this is 12, this is going to be 12. And then this is length and this is length. So I know that my perimeter is equal to 12 plus 12 plus L plus L. Okay, I'm actually going to run out of room here, but um, which means that, uh, what does 8 look like? Is it gross? Oh, 8 is disgusting. I'm going to have to do that on a separate sheet of paper anyway. So I'm going to run a little bit into 8 because I'm going to have to do that on a separate sheet of paper. Let me go back to 7, though. There we go. Um, so this makes 60 is equal to 24. That's 12 plus 12 plus 2L. So I'm going to subtract 24 from 60, and I get uh, 36 is equal to 2L, or you could say 36 is equal to L plus L. If I add this and this, I get 36, which means I'm going to have to divide 36 by 2 to get L, and that is 18. Some of you gave me 36. That's not the answer. You'll need to write all of this out for 7. Let's see. Okay. And then I'm going to draw this out on the other page. Okay, this is number eight, and I was going to do this off camera, but I want you to see exactly how long it takes for me to do this problem. If you got this problem wrong, I want you to draw it out. You'll see what a lovely artist I am here in just a second. This is going to be 40 degrees. This is 90 degrees, and we need to find A, B, and C. Now, some of you grabbed a protractor and tried to, to measure these. You can't. It's not to scale. And we know it's not to scale because it doesn't say this drawing is to scale. They want you to figure it out. Okay, so first thing I know is I know this plus this plus this equal 180. And I know that this is 90 degrees. So to find A, find A. I'm going to add 40 plus 90, which is 130. And then I'm going to take 180 minus 130, and I get 50 degrees. So A is equal to 50 degrees. Several of you got that. I'm going to change colors. Okay. All right. Now I need B. Um, and I know that A, oof, a plus B is equal to 180 because this is what we call a straight angle. Well, A is 50, so I'm just going to plug that puppy in right there. 